everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be unboxing and setting up my archon mount creators three in one bundle oh my gosh so this is really good for people that do crafting um like any kind of live streaming you know like nails cake making um this is just a brilliant little piece of kit to have i say little it's not that little but in this kit you get you get your stand you get your ipad it's got an ipad holder Oh look, there it is. Look, stand with camera, adapter and telescopy, telescoping arm, um, a, a USB rechargeable LED ring light and a tablet post clamp mount, right? So I'm going to take it out of the box and I'm going to show you what's inside this one. You can, get all, the, you can get all slightly different types of ones, like you can get some that clamp to your table. This one has got a, like a, a, a heavy stand, I suppose, that you pop the, the pole into. That sounds really weird um <laughs> so me being me i like to read instructions not always but these ones are pretty simple so i thought right what the heck we'll just go for it so i'm just gonna unpack the bits and pieces so that long pole is the center pole this is the arm and this has got lots of like knobs and i don't know what you call them um like twisty opening bits so that you can move and adjust the arm up where you want it this is the usb led light i haven't actually used this i've, I've kept it in the box um this is the stand this is quite weighty so this obviously it's, it's padded at the bottom but it's quite weighty so it ensures that you know it's not going to fall over or anything which is you know ideal <laughs> Could you imagine if you were making a cake and all of a sudden like your phone splodges into your cake that wouldn't be good that was a little i think they call it like a hex key um and then in here is this is all to do with the ipad mount and stuff so i'm just gonna start with i had a little bit of trouble actually getting mine together uh so this is me being very what's the word anal i suppose and reading the instructions <laughs> so this pole slots into the base now it does say it may require some force i am a chunky monkey and i put all my weight on this and i still couldn't get the bugger in but the bottom bit i discovered was a little bit bent now i didn't actually get this from archon i got this off ebay but it did say it was new um so yeah so it goes it just slides in here this is me having serious trouble getting it in i i was doing this for a long time um i did end up cutting out some of the footage because i was like oh my gosh you guys are going to be so bored but i'm going to show you look if you look at the top it's slightly flat across the top so it's like it's almost been flattened somehow so i don't know if that's why they were selling it cheap or not i'm not sure but um, after bending the bottom a little bit with a hammer, I tell you what, this stuff is solid. It is solid. I managed to get the bugger in. <laughs> I didn't want it. I was gonna. I was tempted to send it, send it back, but I just couldn't. I'm desperate to have these. So, this top bit, you see, you can unloosen this screw, and it loosens the fittings, and then the it's like a a ball joint, I suppose. This is this ball joint bit here just slots it into here you have to make sure you open it enough i didn't open it enough and i was trying to get it in and in the end i was like i'm gonna push the push it in but it was just me being impatient so it just open it wide enough and it'll just pop in and then tighten it up again and then that will be the arm so you can move it however you want it obviously it's a ball joint so you can look move it all around wiggle it around i'm gonna just tighten it up a little bit so that's going to now keep it in place and then you've got all these i don't know what you call them but there are like different joints on this arm so you can move them in any way you want so if you tighten them and loosen them you could just move it all around to how you prefer it i'm just going to move this across here a bit so you can see so then this is the this end part here this is the end of the arm so this little socket, no, I don't know, it's not a socket. This loosens it. And then obviously the, the phone will clamp on the end here. And it's it's got, it's like springy, spring loaded. I don't know, what you, I don't know, I'm terrible at describing things. But your phone, I was looking around for my phone and I was like, oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm recording with my phone. 
<laughs> so I got my son's phone and some fizzy pop. It's sugar free, don't worry. Just move it out of the way. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that the phone is quite, it's quite snug, it's quite tight, so your phone's not gonna fall out. And that just sits in there. Um, I have, did I have mine the other way? I can't remember how I done it. I did do a video with this. But this is, if you do lots of live streaming, this is perfect. Um, it's not so good for me when I'm just recording videos because I struggle to see what the phone's recording a little bit. But ideally I want it for the, um, I, I'm hoping to do lives every Monday again. Um, so this is going to be perfect because I've got the iPad stand so I can see what's happening on my iPad and I know exactly if I'm in shot or not. Um, so it's going to be pretty ideal. So this this stuff in here, I'm just going to put this little key away so I don't lose anything. Um, inside this baggie here, is it a baggie? I call it a grip seal bag. I don't know what you call it in America. Not that it matters. Um, it comes with instructions again. I actually didn't read these very well, these ones. I just looked at the pictures and guessed. So you've got your clamp. This this clamps the iPad stand to the, the pole. And then this is the, you've got different size. Um, they're like little arms, they're little arms that you rest your iPad on. So if you've got a, like I've got, I'll tell you what happened. Oh my God, I could have cried. Um, my iPad Pro, I've got a brand new iPad Pro, it's six weeks old and my eldest accidentally trod on it. I don't even know how, I was walking the dog, came home, went to open it out its case, it is scratched, the, not scratched, it's shattered to bits, right? Bent, the frame's bent and everything, I could have cried. Thank goodness we've got contents insurance, but so anyway, that's why I didn't upload Friday. I also fell over, landed on my bad knee and hurt my back, which was a bit of a nightmare. So this is why I'm uploading Friday's video today. Right, anyway, enough of that. Um, so the, the clamp bit slots into the iPad stand. So it's in there nice and tight now. Okay. Then this little thing here opens up the clamp. So you can then attach that round you, the pole. So just slide it over and then tighten it up the other way. So that's on there nice and tight. And then your iPad will go on this, but you've got these little, um, these are the little arms and they come with slightly different, they come with different sizes. So if you've got like an iPad mini, um, then you obviously go for the shorter arms. If you've got an iPad, you know, one of the bigger iPads, I think they go up to 12.9 inches, don't they? Then you'll obviously need to use the longer arms. I've got an 11 inch iPad, so I put, I don't know if I was doing this right anyway, um, but I put the, I put some long arms on the top and some shorter arms on the bottom. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. So I just want to show you, okay? It's like a sort of almost like a jigsaw, right? These bits are shaped. So, and then the arms actually are shaped to, to just slot in. So you just literally slide them in. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the, the same size arm for the, this side. Okay, and then they're exactly the same on the bottom. Oh, it's me. Look, did I pull a face? Did I pull a face? I can't remember because I can't see because my silly recording box is in the way. So I'm then gonna take the slightly shorter ones for the bottom. And again, at the bottom, you've got that shaped slot thing so that they slide in nicely. I just wanted to make sure they were the same size so that my iPad isn't like at an angle or, you know, I don't know. This is the first time. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to get using this for live streams. I'm gonna be, oh yeah, I just, I wanna do my lives on YouTube and I thought this is just gonna be ideal. So I'm just gonna, just gonna tighten the clamp back on that. And then this bit here, if you tighten that up, this little circular tube, no, it's not a tube. Anyway, tighten that up and that is gonna keep your iPad in the right place as well. So it's not gonna fall forward or anything. Okay, so I've got my iPad on my stand, on my mount, and then I could put my phone in this end. Hey! 
I was like, tap it so they can't see me. <laughs> there we go. So that is, that is, oh, it's just so good. I'm so excited. And then this is for obviously if you've got, so um, it doesn't come out there, but if you take, you can take the end, all these are removable here. Okay, so you can just pop this little mount in. This would go on a camera if you've got like a, you know, like a proper camera. Uh, it, it would just replace the phone mount on the end and I suppose you could put it on any one of these little joint bits but I'd probably put it there there it is there I am oh my god quick hide so yeah um, I hope you like it if you did leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing let me know if you've got one of these um, and I'll leave the link to Archon mounts in the description box below thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow